How's it going guys? This is Pete from the Freedom in God YouTube channel. So recently, scientists in Germany discovered the oldest known fossils of moths and butterflies while sifting through what could be described as 200 million year old pond scum. Mysteriously, the fossilized insect remains turn out to be more than 70 million years older than the oldest known fossils of flowering plants, throwing a monkey wrench into how the co-evolution between flowers and their pollinating insects occurred. Using a variety of high-powered microscopes, scientists wanted to see how much evolution occurred in the alleged 200 million years separating the fossils from their modern living versions. But the ancient creatures are exactly the same as the modern ones, so why didn't they evolve? As it turns out, the more fossils we find and evaluate, the worse it gets for evolution. Charles Darwin was well aware of the problems the fossil record presented for his ideas and he hoped that future discoveries would eventually vindicate his proposition of progressive gradualistic evolution over deep time. But the fact remains that throughout the fossil record all basic types of creatures appear suddenly and then stay the same for alleged eons of time. Many are still alive today and look just like their fossilized counterparts. In addition, no undisputed evolutionary transitional forms between different types of creatures have been found. Clearly, butterflies and moths appeared suddenly on Earth and fully diverse along with showing no signs of evolution. But how did they end up as fossils? The Bible tells us about 4,500 years ago, a global flood destroyed the face of the Earth. This violent catastrophe rapidly buried and fossilized billions of creatures which are now found in sedimentary rocks all over the world including many types of insects. The reason these creatures look similar to their living counterparts without any evidence of evolution is that all things were created by God to reproduce according to their kind, exactly as the facts of science have been showing us in discovery after discovery. Thanks for watching guys and may you all have a blessed day.